Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz and I am your host. And welcome back. Let's give Ryan these emails. And actually I got several emails. And this one came in from Denise, Grace, and Yolanda. And they're all asking, wait, oops, and also John from the UK. They're all asking for a swimming episode. Uh, here's Denise. She says, I love the podcast. Uh, can you do something specific for swimmers? And then I have one here from Grace. I'm a competitive high school swimmer. Could you possibly make a podcast dedicated to swimmers? And then, of course, I want to thank you for the wonderful podcast. Thank you very much. Can you do one for competitive swimmers? Well, of course I can. And what's up, all you competitive swimmers? I'm, I'm, you're smart. You're doing yoga. Good for you. And we're going to be doing yoga together, even if we're not swimmers. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because <laughs> with the benefit of yoga and you being a swimmer, you know, you're going to be able to open up your body more. So we're going to be working on um, the hips, the legs, the back. We're going to get some strength in the core. Just a good overall class to enable you to open up. Because I know there's lots of shoulder issues and movement in the hips with the legs. So we're going to be doing a lot of poses that are going to be beneficial, not only to swimmers, but remember, if you don't swim, we're still doing yoga and we get the benefits. So thank you all for sending in an email request. And remember, if you have an idea for an upcoming episode, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. But remember, oh yes, remember, you can also Twitter me. Go to twitter.com slash yogamazing. Lots of great topics up there consistently all the time. So join the chat. And then facebook.com slash yogamazing. You can join the family as well. And what's fun is a lot of times people will see me in Facebook and they'll pop up, you know, and it says, hey, Chaz, what's going on? And, and we start chatting about yoga and where they're from and what's going on. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool that people... Uh, I just get to chat with people and all, all around the world. And so I want to say hi to everyone and to Facebook me up. Okay. Now, and also let you know that the Yoga Amazing application is out there. It is available and has been updated. So there are some revisions that have been made since it's been launched because of your feedback. So with all that being said, remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this swimming edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Now, I typically start class in child's pose, but in today's class, since we're doing some exercises for the legs and the feet and the arms and the shoulders for the swimmer, we're going to start a little differently. We're going to sit in hero pose, Varasana. Now, this is going to be great because you're going to get that stretch right there on top of the feet. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, uncomfortable for you, you can always put a blanket here and hopefully that will help. Now, from here, we're going to start our deep breathing ujjayi breath. So from here, palms up on the legs. Shoulder blades down, relax forward. Remember, big inhales, hollow the throat, expand the chest and lungs. Big exhales. Remember, the breath is consistent, never changing. It's like a cascading waterfall, like I say. So whether the poses are simple or hard, the breath is always consistent, okay? So let's start our breathing just to get focused for the class. bring yourself forward and let's take it into a downward facing dog of course we're gonna do a down dog of course we are it's yoga amazing <laughs> our down dog is man's best friend you know that so from here spread your fingers tailbone up root the heels if you, even if your heels don't touch the floor work on it my body's opening up with you shoulder blades roll away from the ears down the back draw the navel in tilt the hips long neck deep in the breath And then from here, we're going to work on some upper body strength. Surprise, surprise, right? And then we're going to do an upper push-up and then take it down into a chaturanga and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Push it back. Oh, I can hear you groaning now. Now remember, 
If you have, uh, if that's hard for you, you can always drop to your knees and that'll help. So I'll give you an option here when we do it again. Stand down, dog. And then again, you're gonna bring it upper push up. And then if you want to, you can drop to your knees and then take it down or hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Push it back. Whew, I feel that one too, but it gives you great upper body strength. Deep in the breath here, everyone, hang out. And from here, look between your hands and let's walk your feet forward and then just bend your knees and just hang, let your neck drop, let your arms relax. From here, make sure your feet are together, bend your knees, and let's bring them to Utkatasana into the fierce pose. So squeeze and lengthen through the fingers, Shoulder blades down. Remember, you're trying to sit, you're trying to stand, you get stuck in the middle. Deep in the breath. Now we're gonna rotate, do a twist, fierce pose. So take your right hand to the outside of the left leg and bring your left hand up. Now, if your neck hurts, you can look down to the side or look up. Remember, inhale, exhale, deepen and twist. Release back to the center, Utkatasana, the fierce pose, or a chair. A lot of different names people use. And rotate. Left hand to the outside of the right leg, right hand up, bring it up. If it hurts, look up again, look to the side or down. And bring it back up into Utkatasana. Standing hands at the chest. Mountain Tadasana. I can feel my heart pumping now. Now, from here, let's open up our legs. Series of standing asanas. So we're gonna be doing a warrior one, warrior two, triangle, and a side angle, okay? So we're gonna start out first with the warrior one. We're gonna make sure that our hips are squared up, shoulders are facing forward. And you want to make sure that, that back foot is flat to the floor. So arms up, inhale. And then as you exhale, bend that right knee. And then you want to make sure that this back leg is extending out to your foot. Make sure the right knee over, is over the right ankle. Now you may not be as deep in this as I am, but do what you can do. Listen to your body, challenge yourself, open yourself up. Gaze forward, soften the breath. Come back to the center, arms out, take a bow down. And bring it up, rotate, arms still out. Rotate, hips and chest forward, arms up, big inhale. And then as you exhale, bend that left knee, flatten those right toes and foot to the floor. Squeeze, lengthen through the fingers, tilt the tailbone, deepen the breath, go where you can go. Back to the center, arms out, a little bow. Bring it up, right foot out, warrior two. Now inhale, and as you exhale, bend the right knee over the right ankle, lengthen with the arms, root with the hips, draw the navel in, tuck the tailbone. Remember, two sheets of glass, I always use that analogy, no bottom or chest sticking like this. Gaze forward, deep in the breath. Whole body should be active. No parts should be lazy. You should feel this within your body. Your whole body should be alive. Mm -hmm. 
Straighten. Exhale. Inhale, reach, get the length. The triangle. Only go down as deep as you need to, even if it's here. Go down where you need. Some people may put their hands on the floor. Go where you can go. If your neck hurts, look down. If you need to, look up. Do what you can do. You're in your own body. I'm not. I'm in my body. And then bring it up. Bend the right knee, right arm to the right leg. Point those fingers deep in the breath. Reach with the arm. And bring it up, arms out, take a bow. Bring it up. And let's rotate now to the other side. Warrior two, inhale. And as you exhale, bend that knee, knee over ankle, tuck it in two sheets of glass, draw the navel, rooting down to the foot, gaze forward, soft gaze, deep breath. Bring it up. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, remember, triangle, reach. Arm down, only go down as deep as you need to. Remember, we don't want the bottom and chest sticking in or sticking out. Tuck it in two sheets of glass, gaze up. Find out where you can go. Up. And then you're gonna bend that left knee, left arm to left leg, extend to the right, side angle. Extend to side angle, reach with the arm. Deep in the breath. Bring it up. Rotate to the center. Hands and hips and bow. Coming up. Wiggle your feet in. Good. Walk it back to the front of your mat. Mat's a good guy. But um, boom. And I haven't done a bad joke for a while, so I had to do one. <laughs> so bend your knees and bring it up into Utkatasana. And release, take it down. Fingertips to the floor, walk it back to a down dog. And from here, a side plank. Now in this version, you can either drop your knee Bring the arm up, but I'd like you, if you can, to stack your legs. Get a slight curve and gaze up. Release. And from here, drop to your knees and do thread the needle. Take the arm through, arm up. Release, back to the center. And let's go back to a down dog. And let's stack or drop your knee down. Remember, you can stack your legs or bring that knee down. Make sure the shoulder is over the rings of the wrist. Get a slight curve in the hips. Release back to the center, and you're just gonna dig your toes in the mat and push it back into a squat. From here, yep, that's right. Crow pose. More upper body strength that's gonna give us some core strength as well. So from here, just remember when you do this, it's just a transfer of weight from your feet to your hands. You build a shelf with your upper arm, squeeze in your abs, squeeze your feet together, squeeze your arms and legs together, and it's pretty easy. Remember, you're only not too far off the floor, so. Challenge yourself. It's a very, uh, very challenging pose mentally and physically. But once you get it and you're in the groove and you, you got it, it's like a puzzle. It just falls into place. So from here, we're just going to roll it up. As you see, when I come up, my elbows and wrists get in alignment. There's my shelf. I bring up my feet, put my toes together, squeeze my arms into my legs, legs into the arms, 
Stay here and breathe. And release. From here, drop it down. Too much deserved. Child's pose. And from here, let's slowly bring yourself up. Crisscross your legs, sit on your bottom. Let's bring it into Baddha Konasana, the cobbler pose. Butterfly. And what you want to do is bring your feet together, pull them in, take your hands around the feet, thumbs to the middle of the feet. And you want to squeeze your bottom into the mat like you're trying to pick your mat up with, with your bottom. And that squeeze in that area, Mula Bandha. If you're not familiar with that or if you do know what it means, it's just squeeze. Okay, make it real simple. And draw the navel in, shoulder blades down, peel the feet apart. A uh, little toe to the uh, heel touching, and then lengthen these and drop the knees. And there you go. Slowly release. Now from here we're going to take our feet forward and we're going to be doing a tabletop pose. So from here we're going to make sure our fingertips are pointing back towards you and we're going to lift our hips up and make like a table. Okay, pretty much that's it. And you want to keep your neck in alignment with your spine. So let's inhale and then as you exhale bring it up. Okay, bring it up, form the table, drop your head, keep your neck in alignment with the spine. And slowly release, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae, and come down to lying on your back. Yeah, feels good to lay down, doesn't it? From here, arms to your side, palms down, and we're going to lift it up into a bridge. So from here, let's interlock our fingers, tuck our shoulder blades, deepen the breath. And bring it down, release. Bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. Release the fingers, untuck the shoulders. Climb butterfly. And from here, bring your knees together. Roll to your side. Bring yourself up to sitting. Actually, I actually have to do a couple sitting poses here real quick. Actually, for our shoulders. Almost forgot, but we're gonna do them. So from here, we're gonna take our arms, we're gonna cross. And then we're going to lift. So you thought you were going to get to rest there, didn't you? Nope. Not just yet. Pull down. This is a great, this is probably the best stretch you can do for the area between the shoulder blades. And release, cross your arms the other way. And crisscross your legs the other way. And then lift first. And pull down. And slowly release. Now from here we're going to be doing Gomukhasana. Crisscross your legs back to where they were in the beginning. Um, now typically I would use like a belt or something. Now if you have a belt or a sock, um, you can grab one. And insert Jeopardy theme here, you know. Da, 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 da. Okay, did you get your belt? You get your, okay, you got it? Now, if you want to use your hands, you can use your hands as well. I'm going to just use my hands today. So we're going to take our right hand up, left hand back, and bring it into here. Now, if you want, you can just use your hands. I'll turn this way so you can see a little bit better. Roll your heart, deepen the breath. And if you need to use a belt or grab a sock or a towel, that's cool too. If you're not familiar with Jeopardy, Jeopardy is a game show here in the United States. And that's their little waiting music, I guess. 
and let's release. Oh, I always feel that one. Now let's do the other side. This is my tougher side here. So let's take the right hand back and let's take the left hand up. And again, you can use your belt or you can use a towel, a sock, whatever you got. Elbow up, elbow down, deep in the breath. And slowly release. Oh. Swing your arms. I always feel that. Now, we can lay on our back. Ah. From here, squeeze your legs in. And take your arms to a T, legs to the right, look to the left. And roll the left, look to the right. And back to the center, one more big hug, squeeze it in. And from here, stretch it out into Shavasana. Arms to your side, palms up. For these next few minutes, just allow yourself the freedom to surrender and let go. And since this is uh, yoga for swimmers, imagine yourself floating on a raft, just allowing the current to carry you. And that's what we do in yoga. We allow our body to open, like the current carrying us in the ocean or on a river where it just has a destination, we may not know where it is, but it, you know, it actually, if you start on a river, it takes you to the ocean, the ocean takes you everywhere. Same thing with yoga. You start, and then it opens up, the destination opens up in front of you, and you have no idea where you're gonna go. So for these next few minutes, just allow your yoga to be like that raft trip that takes you out into the world, where you expect nothing but receive everything by surrendering. So take these next few minutes and just allow Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.